Today, a history of war. Ragnar Lodbrok, Erik Bladex, and Harald Hardrada are a trio of legendary Viking warriors. Towards the end of their careers, each man sailed his longships upriver to York. Not one of them survived to make the journey home. The first to die was Ragnar Lodbrok. The verdict is still out on whether there really was a historical Ragnar, but the lurid account of his death was enough to put York on the map as far as the Viking sagas were concerned. The Battle of York was fought between the Vikings of the Great Hidden Army and the Kingdom of Northumbria on the 21st March 867. York was taken over by the Anglo-Saxons after the Roman Empire left in the 5th century. The city would become the capital of the Kingdom of Northumbria, serving the needs of both the King and the Archbishop of York. Viking raids against Britain had been occurring since the 8th century, but it was not until the 860s that Vikings army were formed with the intention of conquering lands. In 865, the Great Hidden Army landed in East Anglia and started the invasion that would lead to the creation of Denlo. Led by Uba and Ivor, the Vikings first took York on 1st November 866. Ivor's apparent motive was to avenge the death of his father, Ragnar Lodbrok. Meanwhile, the Kingdom of Northumbria was in the middle of a civil war, after Ale had driven out the previous king, Osbert, by force. The Vikings had little trouble taking York, but failed to capture Ale. In the spring of 867, Ale and Osbert put aside their difference and united in an attempt to push the invaders out of Northumbria, leading to the Battle of York on the 21st March. The battle started well for the Northumbrian forces, who were able to break through the city's defenses. It was at this point that the experience of the Viking warriors was able to show through as the narrow streets nullified any advantage of the numbers that Northumbrians may have had. The battle ended with the victory of the Vikings and the death of both Ale and Osborne. Norse traditions hold that the victorious Ivar and Uba were brothers and that they captured Ale and afterwards blood eagled him. In York, Viking leaders established a puppet king named Egbert. This situation would remain until 872, when a revolt drove Egbert into exile in Mercia. Halfdane Ragnarsson of the Vikings ended the revolt in 876 and directly occupied York and the rest of Deira. In time, this would lead to the creation of the Kingdom of Jorvik, which existed under Viking control until 910, when it was taken by the Anglo-Saxons. But you'll find out these things in the next episodes. Stay tuned for more Vikings adventures and if you like it, hit that subscribe button. That's all for today, I hope you like it and see you next time.